Good morning, friends. Hi, welcome back. It's what? It snowed last night. <laughs> if you don't know, I am from Michigan, so this is like glorious. We love snow. I love snow. Anyway, welcome back to Haven Hill. It is a snow day here. My name is Meg, and I have declared, I mean, it's not really, really a snow day. Most area schools are in session, but besides my oldest son who still is homeschooling. My other son still had school today. Um, I told all oh, the birds, they keep coming to my feeder. I told all my other kids, um, today's school is that they can listen to books, they can try something new, they can do Legos, they can paint, they can go outside, they can do anything that they normally don't do. No book work today. Just explore things. They learn a lot that way. They were all super pumped. So anyway, that's what we're doing today. I thought I would take you along just a little bit on our very, well actually it's not, no that's true, it's true. It is our first snow day of 2023. I hope that we have more. If we're gonna be in the winter time, I am a firm lover of snow. If we get to March and we still have no snow, that's where I'm kind of like, okay, I'm done now. Um, but if it's going to be cold anyway, I'd rather have it be beautiful white falling from the sky. Just my opinion. What about you? Do you like snow? So in yesterday's video, I was telling you what I do when I, um, brew or let my kombucha ferment for far, far too long as in months and months and months. I am, I, I actually tried later to go back and it's been, a, it's been a solid six months that it has been in my cupboard. So very, very strong. It is 100% kombucha vinegar. So, but I didn't waste it. I saved it all. So I'm using it in ways, like I said in the video, um, that I do any way that, or any way that I do use normal vinegar. So, um, today I'll be in the kitchen a lot. I have some I have the cinnamon raisin sourdough bread that my kids devoured last week, or actually it was probably two weeks ago now. Um, so I made two loaves this time, and then I just made a um, salad dressing, a really, really simple salad dressing with some of the kombucha vinegar, and I wanna share that with you. It not only is it delicious, but it's really easy, and it's a great way. I, I mean, my kids still love a solid store-bought ranch. I can't stand it anymore. I do love, my, at my parents' restaurant, they have this homemade ranch dressing that has dill and herbs in it, and it's absolutely lovely. So I need to get that recipe from them, because I do like ranch dressing, but it has to be homemade, like real ranch dressing. But this, so occasionally I will buy that for them, um, but I really try hard to have homemade dressings for a couple of different reasons. One, major cost savings. Um, two, they are, I personally think they are way better, and three, they are way better for you. So anyway, we, we make salads often. Um, we use it for lots of different things. It even would taste really great on like a really good loaded up grilled cheese. So anyway, I'll show you how I did that, and now I need to go get my little guy, he's crying. What's happening? He's trying to play Legos, but you know, little bro, 
So now he's drinking his chocolate milk, which this is raw chocolate milk, you guys, it's so good. Okay, so here is the simplest salad dressing um, that I think is absolutely delicious. Very versatile as well. You could always add things depending on the time of year. Um, so pick a glass bottle. I love these, I get these right on Amazon. My Amazon is linked there. Sometimes that link works, sometimes it doesn't. I know several of you have commented on, on that. I have looked into it, I've done everything, and sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it doesn't. Not really sure why. Anyway, hopefully it's working this time. You can find glass jars like this anywhere, but that's where I, I do often look. Sometimes I actually look at, um, like a thrift store as well. So no matter what size you're using, you're not gonna fill it all the way up because you always need to leave room to shake it. So it's um, two parts um, of avocado oil or if you like, um, like an extra virgin um, olive oil. This is avocado, did I say that right? Yes, I love avocado oil. Sam's Club now has a really great um, organic one. That's what I use. And then you're gonna put in one part vinegar, whichever you choose, apple cider vinegar or um, kombucha vinegar. I really, really have enjoyed that. And then um, one part honey, or you could do maple syrup. Um, I like this. This is from the Amish grocery store that we went to a few months or a couple months back. And then I take one garlic clove. This is just garlic from our summer garden. I take one garlic clove, I peel it, I leave it whole, except I kind of crack it just so it, it opens up just a teeny bit. That's it, and then you just shake, 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 shake. Get all, every time before you use it. I lost my ribbon, and then taste it. It's so delicious, so, so delicious. Put it on salads, put it on sandwiches, whatever, put it on vegetables, whatever you wanna do. In the summertime, I think it would be great with really fresh herbs. Um, dill, I think I have a unhappy buddy right now. Rosemary, anything like that. The bread is about done. Kids are kind of doing their thing. One just went back outside. And um, I'm gonna finish cleaning up my kitchen now. And you know, what else do you do on a snow day? I think we need to have hot cocoa today. I think that will help some spirits that feel a little bit sad. We'll see. I think snow days are the days that you just do things differently. You know, you just do the things that you that have been on your list because you don't really wanna leave. It's not that our roads are absolutely horrible. It's just, you. Do, I mean, you know, four to six inches of snow, maybe, I think we're about, I don't know, I, I think we're close to six. It's a light snow, we could leave, but we don't want to, so anyway. Here's the other thing I am doing. Uh, this has been on my list. I've had this for a long time. I am doing broccoli sprouts. I love sprouts. I love them on sandwiches. I love them in salads. I've been, I've bought them many times. They're kind of pricey, at least right, at least around here they are. So I am just sprouting them. So if you don't know how to do this, we'll see how this works. Maybe I'll do a full video just on this, but, um, it's really simple. I put three tablespoons of sprouts in here, soaked it with a, you know about three to four times that much water um, overnight. Drained them this morning, put them back in here. Now they're on their side. And then I will rinse these for the next few days, um, twice a day, morning and night. And then within five to six days, you should have sprouts. I really hope it works because I love sprouts a lot. And actually, so do my kids, so that's a good thing. They're so good for you, so, so, so good for you. Okay, one more thing that I have done today. Actually, I did this last night. Um, I have very distinct memories of my grandma when she would get sick eating whole garlic cloves. I remember just like hugging her and thinking, well, Grandma, you smell like garlic, uh, which is not a bad smell. Um, anyway, I'm not done that. I do, we grow garlic. We do a lot with our garlic scapes, like a garlic scape pesto. It is absolutely delicious. But this is something that has been on my list for a year now. Um, this won't be ready for this winter. I mean, it could be. You could do, do this as in little as, ooh, did you hear it? As in little as two weeks. But we'll see. Maybe we'll need it, maybe we won't. Anyway, I am just fermenting. Oh, did you hear that one? Oh, it smells so good. I am fermenting garlic from our garden, whole garlic cloves in honey. Two weeks, 
from what I have read, like I said, I've not done this like this before, even though garlic is a large part of our diet. Um, two weeks is good, a month is better, two months is even better, three months is even better. So this will be lasting a long time. What? Oh, you get your sock. You get your sock off. So that's another thing I'm doing. And um, you just wanna make sure the garlic always stays covered like anything that you ferment. If you've ever done sauerkraut or things, you know that. So throughout the day, I leave these right on my kitchen counter. And throughout the day, I just keep flipping them over. Let it go for a while and flip them back. I told my kids if they see the garlic um, rise to the top, they can flip it over. And then um, what I have also read is that sometimes it turns color. Sometimes it turns a really, really dark brown. Sometimes the garlic turns almost like a bluish color. So we'll see. I will be really excited to have that as part of our arsenal though. There's a few of us that are fighting these nasty colds right now and I really wish it was ready, but it's not. We have plenty of other stuff that we're doing with, with herbs and teas and homeopathy and oils and it's working. Um, but I will be really excited to have this as a, as a powerhouse in our family's medicine cabinet. We are headed out. Cooper did chickens this morning. And um, we actually gave them magic water this morning just to kind of help. Ma all magic water is is um, water with herbs, apple cider vinegar, honey, garlic. And you just mix it. You do almost like a, you mix it with regular water. Sometimes it takes them a minute. I want to make sure they're drinking it. It has really, we've had two sick chickens. One was a rooster. Uh, last year, he got very sick. He wouldn't move, he wouldn't crow. We gave him some, and about an hour or two after we gave it to him, he was back to normal. So magic water really is magic. Just very healing. Um, anyway, so I wanna, oh good, they're drinking it. Oh good, 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 good. Cooper said this morning, he shoveled a path for everybody and the ducks went and just started running in the snow. So I think the ducks love the snow. The chickens will try to find dry ground. It's harder to see in here, but there are a few in here. Hi ladies, anybody laid yet today? There's a couple duck eggs down there. And there's some more in that corner. And then there's me. If you don't know this, ducks make the water filthy after one drinking. <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna go refill all of their waters. But goodness, look at how gorgeous it is. Look. This is also a really lovely sight. I have been waiting for snow to cover my gardens. If you live in a colder climate, you know probably the goodness that is in snow. And so I was really looking forward to having at least several inches um, to, well one, to help keep all of the leaves and animal bedding in place as it decomposes to get ready for spring. And snow is just full of minerals and different things that are really, really great.
Okay. <laughs> Can you lay down? Up. Ow! I'm... <laughs> Wait. That's a great one. One. No. I feel slick. Two. Oh, this snow is so comfy. Is it good? Throw it at mama. You throw it? Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> here, here, here. Okay, we're back in. Actually, we got in a while ago. I think my camera got a little bit too cold and it has literally been frozen ever since then. So, it has truly been just a lovely and relaxing day. Um, when we got back in, we had a snack. We have yet to have hot cocoa. We cannot no. find our hot cocoa maker, which we love. Um, so we just had some snacks. Kids have been playing games, and actually my girls may or may not have decided to put some pink highlights in their hair today. You know, what you gonna do? And then we'll have to show you that another time if they turn out. Um, they're also FaceTiming with cousins. We did a big, just a big family pickup. I don't know if you guys ever do that, but sometimes it's helpful when the, when the, the, the walls of our house really feel like they're just coming in. I often will just say, okay, everybody stop what you're doing. We're gonna pick up together. We did do that this afternoon. My son went off to work to go work for the kettle farmer that he works for, um, that's Cooper. And now we are just kind of hunkering down I can feel this cold really entering my head. I can tell I need to rest, and I have a couple kiddos that are kind of feeling the same way. So while it's just a good, healthy cold, we need rest. So anyway, I hope you had, I hope you had a wonderful day. I hope you've got some snow, and I hope you loved it as much as I do. I'm confident not everybody does, but that's okay. <laughs> so anyway, until next time, I hope you have a really lovely day, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. I almost forgot to thank you. There have been so many of you that sent me just sweet little messages wondering, are you okay? What's happened? You haven't posted in a while. Fine, we're fine. Just had to recoup, but it means a lot. So thank you for your precious messages. I read them. I do read them. I will be responding to them if I haven't yet. Um, and I just wanted to thank you for that because it does mean a lot. So. All right, now we're off to rest. I need to go make myself some sort of tea or something to get, or to continue to help feed my body well. So, all right, see you guys. <laughs>